Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Candy, the uh, here, here's a few stories for you. Um, the giant food grocery store chain up and down the East Coast has apologized. They ran a Thanksgiving advertisement. Do you know what the slogan was? I'm not sure. I'm a little worried. The slogan was, hosting, plan a super spread. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably yeah. not the right uh, 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 advice for a pandemic candy. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, super spreading events are the uh, things yeah, that are. That we don't want to hear anything that says yeah. super spread. Yes. Uh, that's scary. So, they have yeah, apologized they for that. Yeah, and I don't. Mistake. I don't know who's in charge of the PR there. Probably not a, uh, a a good idea on that one. By the way, yesterday marked the one year anniversary of the first case of coronavirus. Oh wow! The fifty five year old man in Wuhan, China, first known case November seventeenth, twenty nineteen. Oh Candy. boy, it's a year. Wow. 51% of Americans say this has been their year, worst year for sleep. Are you sleeping bad? No, I'm not. I'm sleeping okay. Yeah, I sleep pretty good too, I think. Uh, I don't know. The quarantine uh, is giving people issues, uh, and uh, they're staying up late to watch <laughs> Netflix and things of that nature, Candy. Yes, so. yes. No, I'm sleeping regularly. Okay. Uh, New Orleans has already banned Mardi Gras parades for next year, as you'd Talk imagine. Talk about a super spreader. Yeah, uh, so that is uh, that is not happening. Um, the average American family hasn't seen their extended family in five months, according to a new survey. I can believe that, yeah. And 60% are worried they won't get to see their families for the holidays because of the spike in new cases. And I know you and I have not made our decisions yet. Well, I have half a decision. Casey and Jackie are staying home. Oh, too much okay. of a risk to go anywhere with her teaching. Ten kids in the school district did come down with COVID. Um, so even if they got, you know, it's just, it's too risky. Okay. Evan is going to get tested and we'll see what happens after that. And then he's going to oh. quarantine. So he still has to get, get here on mass transit. But, you know, we'll talk. We have to talk about it. I was at yesterday on my way home from work. I was at the Meat Farms uh, supermarket on Route 112 and uh, I ran into my sister-in-law in the supermarket. Oh, look at that. Out of nowhere. And uh, we took a selfie together, uh, distanced, of course. And we, uh, you know, just to prove that we, that by the way, that's the second time we've run into each other at that supermarket in the last three weeks or so, Candy. Oh, interesting. You're, you're and stalking her, I know. We, something like that. And we, uh, we were discussing, uh, you know, plans for Thanksgiving week as you know she she knew that i've been talking about going to see uh my family and she was talking about her plans and how uh my brother-in-law her husband my brother-in-law's uh parents may or may not go to her house they're not sure what they're gonna do and she's you know we, we were on the fence going back and forth like what do you do what do you do so we were having that discussion in the supermarket yesterday yeah. uh it's a tough time for a lot of it families is, right now. It's a tough time. I read a sad story on the internet yesterday about uh, people who decided to have just a small dinner party with a friend who was terminally ill, not with COVID. Mm. And they got, somebody came and had it in their small little party group, didn't know it. And one of the men died after mm. getting it. So that's how serious it is for a yeah. little dinner party with maybe six to eight people. So yeah, we got to be careful. It's very sad. Well, we are uh, about a week away. Everybody... Making their decisions. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.